World War II was a woman's war, and these color photos capture the real-life Rosie the Riveters in action. During the war, American women stepped up to fill the gaps in the industrial labor force left by men who enlisted. Between 1940 and 1945, the female percentage of the U.S. workforce increased from 27% to nearly 37%. More than 310,000 women worked in the U.S. aircraft industry in 1943, making up 65% of the industry's total workforce. These photos, taken by photographer Alfred T. Palmer, showcase the women-led production in aircraft manufacturing plants. Housewives and young girls fresh out of high school were trained in riveting, welding, and other jobs. Women were so successful at riveting because it resembled sewing, a skill many were familiar with. But riveting was just one of the many jobs women mastered in the aviation industry. They designed planes, built them on the production line, and operated various machinery. Some women chose traditional female jobs like sewing upholstery and painting radium on instrument panels. Others ran hydraulic presses and used cranes to move plane parts. Women inspectors ensured the planes were ready for war, often flown by female pilots. Women proved they could do the job as well, if not better, than their male counterparts. Their attention to detail was unmatched, drilling more holes per day than men in the aircraft manufacturing industry. Women also entered other industries like metal, steel, shipbuilding, and automobile manufacturing. Despite their contributions, women faced discrimination and harassment in the workplace. After the war, most women left their factory jobs, but their role in supporting the war effort was not forgotten. These color photos serve as a reminder of the incredible women who played a vital role in World War II.